co-founders and the corporate team really driving this business, providing the most utmost great quality of a platform for you to be able to achieve your financial goals. Secondly, we then have our ambassadors that are the face and the beauty behind this business. And many of you ask about things such as magazines and those things are all coming real soon. The third step of this business, what we're about to share with you now, because we have two pinnacle positions in this company called Senior Masters and Master Distributors. Now we're gonna recognize them and introduce them to you for the first time globally in ATM Imperium International. Some couldn't be here, but we're going to recognize them. And then we'll talk to you first about the master distributors. Now the master distributors of this business are pinnacle leaders that have been with us from the very beginning to help lay the foundation of this business. In fact, they're as important as the corporate because without them, we wouldn't be able to touch the lives of the people. And as a company, on behalf of the entire corporate team, we first and foremost want to say thank you for believing in AT Imperium International from the absolute beginning. You've been through the trials and tribulations, you know, the problems when it came to maybe product distribution or payments, but you've rode out and you've seen us come from where we was to where we're at today. And here's the funny thing, this is only the beginning. So what I want to do first and foremost before we call on the master distributors is we want to do a formal um, presentation to everybody and it's going to be recorded. So can I first ask for all of the co-founders and founders of this business to be on stage as welcome to the master distributors. So let's give a massive round of applause for Ivy Opera Williams, Bonnie Boucher, So when another opportunity came calling, it was my second chance. I went bullish all the way, did a lot of work. I was enjoying it. It was at that time that I said to myself, I need some training. If I had to go to school to study how to be a lawyer, then I have to go to school to learn how to be a network market marketer. I took a lot of courses from Eric Warren, Robin Sharma. They made me ready for the business. 
So when the TM program came in March for me, I knew the opportunity was meant for me. Our CBO had the vision for me, the fact the company for me. I was looking for what to do when the TM program came and I think I put all of me into it. I said thank you to everybody who showed this opportunity to me. I said thank you to everybody who worked to create this opportunity. What we are used to in network marketing, when I ran, when I ran away the first time, points flushed, ranks changed, my downlines got angry, and they all left me. I was supposed to start all over again, and I was like, no, this is not for me. When I joined the second company, I don't want to mention the name, but I will be very, very honest. I was working with a group of people who were on a mission for themselves who had a vision for just themselves. When I was introduced to AT Emporium, I came and met selfless people. Aisha was in Calabar, Trisha was there, Mr. Sam, ID, and I was sitting with them for about 72 hours. I can't remember saying anything specifically to them. I was just staring at them. If these are the same selfish capitalists who just want you to work and then when they make the kind of money they want, they walk away, then I don't want to be in this. But I saw a different set of people. I was looking at their souls. The moment it magneted, I knew it was for me. So when you're telling me, I don't know why some bad payments are not going through, you are talking to yourself because the ATM program was made for me. <laughs> Treat. When you say there are no products, I laugh at you because I'm thinking about the next five years when our products will be sold on Emirates flights, in shops, in Emirates malls, in spas, in the most important salons in the world. That is what I'm thinking about. So when you say the products are not available, what am like, we just started six weeks ago, just started eight weeks ago, right? You're not serious. I'm not worried about the products not being available. Yes, I want to see them. In fact, I started dancing when I saw the products this morning. But I'm looking at the future. A future in a network marketing company built by people who my soul are judged selfless. I'm very happy to be here. The first time I had, I'm now a master distributor. I said crying. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. And I will do my work to the best of my capabilities. I want ATM Porum to win. Because when an ATM Porum wins, this little girl here will win. Thank you, everyone. Please a welcome to take to the mic from Nigeria, Grace. Like, I, I'm very, very shy to see the crowd, you know, but I guess I have to do this. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Grace. I, I remember when I told myself I wanted to be a doctor, you know, every child wants to be a doctor, you know. So I ended up being a biochemist. Um, I studied biochemistry in school. I, um, I got into school very early at the age of 14 and I graduated 18. So it was also like quite early for me. And I served, I served in Abuja. And um, I, I was just all about in the internet, how can I get a very good job? Because my dad always wanted a good job, you know, for me. And um, I know for me to get a very good job in Nigeria, I have to go do my master's, acquire a lot of degrees. But I told myself, I want to do my master's after service. So during service, I met my mentor, and I was telling him one afternoon that after school, I, after service, I want to travel for master's. And he was like, why can't you just sit your ass like in Nigeria? Why trying to acquire a um, degree? And I was like, I need a job, and I want a job. I just realized that job just means just over broke, right? I'm just <laughs> going to be very, very broke for the rest of my life. So I now realize that I could, you, you, like you know, um, man, we, um, we, um, we propose, right? And God composed, you know? So I know that God really had a plan for me. 
I started, um, I got my first job, but I didn't really want to work. I just love the space of people I met, like after leaving school immediately. These are like-minded sorts of people, people that, people that really like, they, I was like, well, how do you get this money? Like, you know what in a job? I always believe before you can make any reasonable amount of money in life, you really need a good job. Just for my dad, like he was working yeah, for like a oil company and I knew if I could work like him, I'm going to be as like rich like him. Not knowing that it was just for a while. My dad went broke after he got out of job. So I said, I don't want this kind of life for myself anymore. And um, I remember joining a business. Um, a company. I got a job in Lagos. I left Abuja, I went back to Lagos. I was looking for this investment company. And um, I, I, like I, was, I, was, I was very, very happy. I was ending in, I thought I was earning something reasonable. I was earning about, I think, 150,000 there. And to me, that was life for me. I just want to just meet names and all, you know. So um, the company got, um, the company went off, like they, they had to stop. And I was laid off for a job, you know. The company wasn't functioning anymore. So I was like, whoa. So that means for me to actually be of value or for me to actually maintain my paycheck, my salary, I have to be like, I have to work a job, right? So I now had to, I told myself, I don't want to like, work a job anymore. I'm just kind of person, I don't even like jobs at all. I don't know why. I get angry waking up to go to work. I don't really like to, you know. I, and I hate being bo like being bossed around, like, you know, you, do, you have to do this. And especially when I want a break and you're telling me, I can't have a break today. You can't have a break. No, I don't realize that if I'm an entrepreneur, I can always choose my own lifestyle, choose to travel anytime I want to travel, right? So um, I got to meet a friend, even though I went to my friend and I was telling my friend about um, if he knows anybody that can give me a job. He was like, why do a job? And he introduced me to Nature Marketing last year and that was just the beginning of everything for me. I joined a company, even though I love it, like I, I just love the whole energy. The very first time I traveled was through this company and I had to hit a certain rank where I was earning two thousand dollars monthly. But I realized that I always have to work that same um like that same work again. Like I always have to just work again, work again to meet that same um check um like that same target so that I can be able to make money. But one thing I love about ATM Param, when I got to know about ATM Param, I was like, no, I guess this is not for me. When I met ATM Param, I had to be like, no, this is where I really, really belong, you know. Yes. Everybody just selfless. Everybody love everyone, you know. It's not like, remember, this is my um, uplines. When I'm very, very valuable to them is when I have to hit ranks, you know. Because they want to hit their rank, so I have to hit my rank so that they can hit. They love me when I was really like when I was working, when I was really bringing volumes. Yes. But just you know, Nigerians. Sorry to say this, but Nigerians are the worst set of people to introduce business to. You know, <laughs> they will always come for you when the business did not go well. You know, so I introduced some people to the business just because they didn't like. You know, it's not in a day. I didn't. Like I didn't start any a thousand um a thousand two thousand dollars in a month. It's it was gradually. So but people just want to make that money immediately. But you know, I was I was once earning a few one hundred and fifty dollars every month before I grew to two thousand. But they want to just be there like right now, and they don't know it can always take process, you know. So I now realize that when I was like I like um I'm, like I always have to go back to bring the same set of people, maybe 50, 60, 70, to always qualify, you know. And most people, Nigerians are not making money. Trust Nigeria will live. No matter what, you can't even motivate Nigerians, you know. <laughs> Once they're not self-motivated, you can't, don't just bother, just, just move on. But when I got into a prayer, I realized my body will never flush, like, no flushing of volume. I maintain the same rank, you know, sometimes, I hate Mondays, to be very, very honest with you. Mondays are my busiest days in the, like in a week. Because every Monday I have to go check my back office to see if I'm still maintaining that same rank. If not, I have to keep on calling, calling, you know, motivating people, praying for them. Yes, sir, okay. <laughs> but here in the Imperium, 
I just love the whole system. I love the leaders. Like the love here is, is wonderful. The very first day I met the president, <laughs> I knew I like I like I'm like I'm home already. And I remember she was not in the country that time. We did a video call and I was just I was just so happy. Like I'm home. I, I just love everything about the company and I pray that this company is, I'm, I'm very sure the sky, right, is a limit for this company and we're going to grow, 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 grow beyond our own imaginations. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Grace, and please, let's have to the mic. Our final individual speaking right now, all the way living in the UK, but representing Uganda, Elogia. <laughs> Um, I wasn't ready to do this speech, but um, it took me by surprise, but thank you, ladies. ET Emporium has really changed my life. I want to begin by thanking God for connecting me with the most amazing family. You are amazing. Really. You are so amazing. And I have loved every moment. I know you've worked so hard, and I want to say thank you. Can we please clap for the leadership? My name is Eulogia, Pastor Eulogia, and everything about me is about God. So I know that every breath that I take, everything, everywhere, anybody I meet, every connection that I have, he has ordained it. And he has given me the most amazing family, and that's you. So um, I don't have testimonies like everybody, all the network marketing, I haven't done any of that just a little bit maybe here and there, but um, my life is all about changing lives. I want to see anybody that I ever meet changed. And that was my passion when I talked to the ladies, they were in London, and I talked to them and they said, look, we want you to come on board. And I didn't even know if I could qualify because they talked so highly of this company and I said, wow. For me to be part of this company is going to be amazing, but I did. I said, okay, and guess what? Within a few weeks, I was just coming back from my journey in Uganda. Within a few weeks, they called me and said, can you do a launch for us in Uganda? And I said, what? I first said, no, I'll just come back. I've not been at work. What am I going to do? But guess what? With just the humblest request, I said, okay. I will do that, and I did. I went to Uganda, Every, all expenses paid. I'd never known of a company that can do that. They paid all my expenses, they gave me the money to do the launch in Uganda, all the money that I needed. And they were on the phone, I could get to them every single moment that I wanted. And I didn't know any leaders that you can get to so easily, just a phone call. I mean, there were times that we were talking at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, and that was done. So that was my first test to see if this company, and they gave me the most amazing gentleman to go with to Uganda, a VP, <laughs> please stand up. <laughs> and he taught me everything that I needed to know. We were spending hours and hours in Uganda. He was just packing me with all the information, and the launch was so successful that we had about 30 people lining up to, to join. The only letdown was we didn't have the products. They're like, where are the products? We want to buy the products. We want this product. And that <coughs> is a sign for me that God is in this. Because everybody, I took, every single person that I spoke to wanted to join. And they wanted the products immediately without even seeing them. So this was a sign to me that this is going to be great. So um, I didn't want to take so much time because I think everybody's working so much. But I want to encourage you and tell you that this is the first time, this is the beginning of your life where you're going to make millions. I, you're talking to a billionaire right now. I'm a billionaire, I can already see that. He was talking about vision, he was talking about faith, he was talking about mindset. That is my mindset. I'm a billionaire and I'm going to change a million lives. That's so key to me. Changing a million lives. That is your, that's, that's so key to me as a pastor. To see lives changed. And together we can do it.
So let's do it. God bless you. Thank you. We have heard from all of our master distributors, and we're going to ask kindly if all master distributors can now make their way back to their seats. However, if the founders can remain on stage, if the founders can remain on stage, because there's another group of people that we do need to recognize. If all masters, if all master distributors can take a photo and make their way back to their seat, we have a final group of people to introduce before we go into our closing remarks for the event.